Just released yesterday is a great new bundle from Unity. It is the Power Up Tools Mega Bundle. There is a lot in this bundle for a very low price. If you're ready to check it out, let's go. And let's go ahead and take a look at the bundle. So currently there are three tiers of this bundle, $29.99 and $34.99 and $39.99. And you can see that in the $29.99, there are four assets. In the $34.99, there are eight assets. And then in the $39.99, 99, which you should get that because you get all 17 of the main items plus the first two tiers. So you get all of that for $40. And let me just go through these assets real quick. So in the first one is the Whiskey Structure Builder, and this is a way for you to build out structures really quickly. Then in the, the next item is the Roguelike Generator. So this is a way for you to generate maps with AI. And the cool thing about this is that you can use this for both 2D and 3D, which is really awesome. And the next asset is the Combat Framework. It is a third person character controller system and creator. Then in the next item is the component names and this is a way for you to rename components so you can easily access those with your code next up is local avoidance and so this is a way for your game objects your ai objects to avoid certain types of things so the next asset up is the wheel controller 3d and this is a great alternative to unity's wheel based collider next up after that is an omni pbr shader this is a new shader that is going to expand past the regular lit shader that's built into Unity. And then coming up next is the grid placement system. So this is a way for you to have some type of grid system that you can then place items in game during runtime. Then next up after that is geometry algorithms. So if you have points and you want to build a mesh based off of those points and use that within your game, then you'll have that asset. Next up is the IntelliMap AI tile map generator. So this seems to be very similar to the, the other AI generated tile map, but this is I think specifically for 2D tile map system. The other one you can also do 3D. Then next up after that is the easy chart. So this is a way for you to quickly and easily set up charts within Unity. Coming up after that is the Procedural Circular Health Bar Pro. If you want to have some kind of a circular system for your UI. Coming up after that is the Asset Cleaner Pro. And this is a way for you to find assets in your project that you do not need because sometimes, yes, your projects get bloated and this is a way for you to clean those up easily. Next up after that is the physics-based character controller. So this is a built-in character controller system that does all of the physics-based rigid body type items for you. Then next up after that is the ragdoll animators. So it's a ragdoll animation system. Next up after that is the ultimate crafting system. So you can build out systems of crafting for your game. Coming up after that is a File Browser Pro. Coming up after that is Real Ivy 2. So this is a way for you to kind of create really cool 3D Ivy within your game. After that is the Figma Converter for Unity. So this is kind of cool. So if you're a uh, UI and UX designer like me, a web designer, uh, I use Figma all the time for doing UI. And this is a way for you to bring in a Figma file and then convert that over to a Unity Canvas. Next up after that is the Asset Inventory. So this is a way for you to be able to have assets that you've already previously downloaded in other projects and then you can then suck those right up into the current project that you're using so that way you don't have to go and re-download those and bring those in you can bring in assets from your already existing projects next up is the hdrp time of day lighting weather and clouds next up after that blaze ai engine so this is an engine to create ai for your game coming up after that is this really cool asset at procedural lightning and with this lightning, it creates this performance-based lightning. I'm not sure exactly how that does that, but I think that one's kind of cool, and I might grab that one myself. Next up after that is this voxel generator. So this is a way for you to degenerate game objects or scene objects within your game using this voxel-based generator. Coming up after that is this see-through shader, and this is kind of cool because it allows you to, it's a shader that reveals the interior of game objects. It's for the built-in shader, URP, and the HDRP. This one's really cool because you can create these rocks really, really simply, and it's a really nice low poly, and I absolutely just love that style. So this one's definitely on my list. After that is the Gravity Engine. The Gravity Engine is a way for you to control gravity within your space game, and it's gravity around some type of a planet or a body. Nice. 
Coming up after that is the Spline Plus engine. And this is a way for you to deform uh, splines and meshes. And then last but not least is the Projectile Toolkit. And this is a great way for you to set up game objects that are projectile based within your game. Every game needs one of those. So this is the Power Up Tools Mega Bundle. And again, there's three tiers of that and you're probably definitely gonna wanna grab the $39.99 because you get all of the assets for that price. And I'll have a link down in the description below. Another great bundle from Unity. Check those out. It is absolutely worth the $40 that you pay for that. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.